Hey, what's up guys? My name is Nort and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing three new locations which may be defined as secret or just new or opened up to Grand Theft Auto 5 online and other missions and activities. Now before I get into this video, if you do enjoy what you see, be sure to leave a like in the ratings below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. But with that said, I'm going to be going into three new locations which were opened up into Grand Theft Theft Auto Online and various other mini games and missions. For example, I'm going to kick off this compilation with Siege Mentality 2. Now this is one of the adversary modes which we got alongside the Heist DLC last Tuesday on the 10th of March. Now in the adversary modes you'll be able to access new locations, one of which includes this location or house which you can burn down in single player using Trevor. The very iconic house is used through various merchandise and propaganda images used by Rockstar Games to advertise their product on billboards and banners, and you can also explore this location while it is still intact and not blown up. But as you can see here, everything inside this location is pretty much untouched from where it was before you burnt this down in online. There are sleeping bags on the floor, there are bottles lying all over the place alongside tin cans, and of course, your friends coming to try and kill you. Unfortunately, you cannot access this location in free mode, but you can access in the adversary mode using the adversary mode selection from Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. This is overall a really fun mission, and I do advise you guys go and check it out if you haven't done so already. Adversary modes is something which I believe a lot of people haven't checked out fully yet because the Heist DLC did bring us the most anticipated Heist missions, which are absolutely awesome, and I'm sure loads of you guys are enjoying those missions as we speak. But with that said, be sure to save some time to check out the adversary modes to see all of the other awesome locations which have been opened up for us to explore. Now next up at number two, I'm going to be showing you a location inside the Fort Sankuto military base. This location was opened up last Tuesday when the DLC did drop into online and at the moment there is no use for this location in Grand Theft Auto Online and Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm not too sure why Rockstar did decide to open up this insane massive air hangar shelter because it has no use for it at all in online. Now it has been speculated over various Twitter pages and source leaks that Rockstar will be introducing more heist missions as the game progresses on. This is because there are gigabytes of reserved space which you guys have downloaded which haven't yet been used up in this actual DLC. So by opening up this location it allows Rockstar to use this location as some sort of base for the next heist mission which could be dropped in the next few months or weeks. So let me know your thoughts about what you think this location will be used for. Personally, I absolutely love it because it's filled with so many awesome props and also rooms. But last but not least, probably the best location we have got opened up into Grand Theft Auto Online so far is the police station. This was recently discovered by going through these two double doors. This is the only way you can access inside this police station on online. And all you're going to want to do is go through these doors and then you'll be inside. Now unfortunately the front and back door are both locked up. So like I said, these double doors are the only way in. But once you are inside, you can access jail cells. You can go into new rooms. You can go into planning rooms. You can go into changing and cloak rooms. So many awesome places you guys can go and check out and explore and I really do recommend you use this prison and also prison interior to your greatest advantage. So guys, my name is Nort. I hope you do enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like. I'm happy to try and find out some more secret locations which have been added up with the Heist DLC because Rockstar did change up the map a lot when the update did end up dropping. But guys, if you did enjoy this, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like in the ratings below. But my name is Nort and I'll see you guys next time.